Hi, welcome back to Big Data Analytics tutorial. In this video, we will understand how to apply decision tree algorithm to find an optimal tree in this case. This is the solved example number one. The link for other examples is given in the description below. Here, uh, the data set given to us is the play tennis data set. The task is to apply the decision tree algorithm to find the optimal decision tree. Also, to predict the class label for this new example. So there are some conditions are given to us for considering these conditions. We need to predict what should be the label for this uh, example here. In this case, uh, we have been given uh, four attributes, outlook, temperature, humidity and wind. Play is the target variable here. And it's a binary classification because the target has uh, two possibilities. One is yes and one more is no in this case. Now, if you want to draw a decision tree, First, we need to identify one of these uh, four attribute as a root attribute or you can say that the splitting attribute here and then uh, we need to start building the tree. But the question here is which of these particular attributes should be selected as the root node or the splitting attribute? Should I select outlook or temperature or humidity or wind in this case? So what we do here is uh, we will write some rules which will generate the minimum error the attribute which will give the minimum error that will be considered as the root node. Now the question is how to write those particular rules and how to find the error for each and every attribute. So we will consider the first attribute here. The first attribute in this case is outlook here. First we will write uh, the possible values of uh, outlook. Overcast, sunny and rainy are the three possible uh, values of this particular attribute. Next, we need to count how many number of times these uh, possible values are coming. For example, overcast. Overcast is coming first, second, third and fourth time. Similarly, we need to count how many number of times sun is appearing. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So it is coming 5 times. Finally, rainy. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So it is appearing 5 times here. So that is what I have written in the next column. Now the possible uh, uh, target values the possible target values are yes and no in each and every case now what we need to do is uh, for this uh, overcast out of these particular four possibilities how many yes are there and how many no are there so that is what we need to find here now if you go with this uh, overcast the first one is yes the second one is yes third one is yes and fourth one is yes so all four are yes zero no are there Similarly, for sunny, we need to count how many yes are there and how many no are there. Uh, the first one is no here. Second one is no here. Third one is, I think, uh, no here. Fourth one is yes and the fifth one is yes. So three no's are there and two yes are there. So that is what I have written here. Two yes and three no's in this case. Similarly, for the last one, that is uh, rainy. The rainy, the remaining you can consider here. One, two uh, are yes here and uh, you can say one, two, three are yes actually and uh, no are two times. So three yes are there and two no's are there. Now we need to write the rules from this particular uh, table. If I write uh, overcast is equal to yes, four will be classified correctly and zero will be classified incorrectly. But if I write overcast is equal to no, zero will be classified correctly and four will be classified incorrectly. So the best possible uh, rule is uh, this one that is uh, overcast is equal to yes because we will classify 4 correctly and 0 incorrectly in this case. So you can see here I have written overcast is equal to yes. G 0 were incorrect, incorrectly classified hence 0 errors are there out of 4 examples in this case. Now coming back to the second one that is sunny. If I write the sunny is equal to yes, 2 will be classified correctly, 3 will be classified incorrectly. But if I write sunny is equal to no, 3 will be classified correctly and 2 will be classified incorrectly. I think uh, sunny is equal to yet no will be the best option here because three were classified correctly and two are classified incorrectly here. So that is what is written here. Sunny is equal to no. Two are incorrectly classified because of that we write two by five here. Out of five, two are incorrectly classified in this case. If I write this particular rule. Similarly for rainy, if I write rainy is equal to yes, three are classified correctly, two are classified incorrectly. If I write rainy is equal to no, 2 are classified correctly and 3 are classified incorrectly. The best possible rule is this one that is rainy is equal to yes. If I write like this, 
2 will be classified incorrectly that is 2 uh, errors out of 5 here now out of 15 14 4 uh, errors are there that is 4 out of 14 errors are there that is the total error of uh, outlook in this case similarly what we do is uh, we will calculate the total error of uh, temperature also temperature has uh, three possibilities again that is hot mild and cool here now we need to count how many number of times hot is present uh, 1 2 3 and 4 times hot is present mild 1 2 3 4 5 6 time that is 4 time here 6 time here the cool or cold 1 2 3 and 4 so 4 times it is present here now within this particular 4 how many are uh, yes and how many are no we need to check it out first we'll check the hot here the first one is no second one is no and then uh, third and fourth one are yes here so you can see here. so you can say that uh, two yes are there and two no's are there out of six how many yes and no we need to count here that is for mild first one is yes second one is no yes 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 here and no here so two no's are there and uh, four yes are there so that is what i have written here similarly for cold out of four the remaining we need to count one is yes one second one is no third one is yes and fourth one is uh, uh, cool one more cool where we have i think here that is also yes so three yes one no is present so that is a i have written here now we need to write the rules here again in the first case uh, if i write uh, hot is equal to yes two are correctly classified two are incorrectly classified if i write hot is equal to no two are correctly classified and two are in incorrectly classified so either you can write hot is equal to no or hot is equal to yes we can write anything here if i write no we will get two incorrect classification if i write yes two incorrect classification that is two out of four examples here mild uh, if i write mild is equal to yes four correct classifications two are incorrect classification so definitely this is the best option here so i'll write uh, mild is equal to yes two errors out of six here now cool uh, we need to check cool or cold if I write cool is equal to yes, uh, we will get three correct classification and one incorrect classification. So I think this is the best option rather than going with uh, cool is equal to no, where we will get one correct and three incorrect classification. So we will write uh, cool or cold is equal to yes, we will get one incorrect classification. Now the total number of errors are uh, five here out of uh, 14 in this case. So this is the total error of temperature. Now coming back to the next one that is uh, humidity here. Uh, humidity has two possibilities one is high and uh, second one is normal high is appearing seven times and normal is appearing seven times you just count it you will get those particular seven seven numbers and uh, out of seven how many yes are there and how many no are there you need to count uh, according to this table there are three yes are there and uh, four no's are there if you count it you will get that answer now if you write uh, high is equal to yes if i write this rule three correct classification and four incorrect classification so better to go with this one i think uh, high is equal to no where we will get four correct classification and three incorrect classification so this is the best option so that is what i have written here and uh, three errors out of seven now similarly for normal also if i write normal is equal to yes i will get six correct classification and one incorrect classification i think this will be the best option here so we will write that one one out of uh, seven is the uh, can say that errors here so total number of errors are four out of 14 again here now coming back to the last one that is windy there are two possibilities that is uh, false and true there are eight false examples are there and six uh, true examples are there you need to count it you will once you count you need to write that particular value here out of eight how many yes and how many no we need to count uh, according to this table uh, six are yes and two are no and uh, out of six uh, uh, three yes are there and three no's are there here uh, for this particular thing the best rule is uh, false is equal to yes because we will get six correct classification and two incorrect classification here so that is uh, false is equal to yes two out of eight are the errors in this case for this one either we can write uh, true is equal to yes or true is equal to no because if i write any of these things three will be classified correctly and three will be classified incorrectly here so either i can write true is equal to no or i can write yes also both are perfectly fine here so i will get 3 out of 6 errors so the total error is 5 out of 14 in this case now we have done with all the four attributes i will consolidate this particular table we will get the result something like this for outlook we got the 4 by 14 as the output 4 out of 14 you can see for a temperature we got 5 out of 14 
uh, errors for humidity we got 4 out of 14 errors for wind we got 5 out of 14 errors now the minimum among these four is uh, these two that is one is 4 out of 14 and this is also 4 out of 14 but the question here is which one I supposed to select should I select outlook or humidity if any one of these is 3 by 14 I would have selected that one because that will be the minimum error but right now there is a tie so we have an ambiguous condition uh, should I select outlook or a humidity in this case so whenever there is an ambiguity uh, what we need to do is we need to go ahead uh, one level and then we need to check the individual uh, errors here okay once again I'll tell you uh, for example if you have 3 by 14 here you would have selected humidity if you have 3 by 14 or anything less than this one you would have selected this one but right now this is not possible what we have is a 4 by 14 and 4 by 14 there is a tie we need to go ahead uh, one step back and then we need to check the individual uh, what we can say that the errors here now if you look at this particular errors one is a 2 out of 5 second one is 0 out of 4 third one is 2 out of 5 in this case 3 out of 7 and 1 out of 7 now what we need to do here is we need to cross check do we get any uh, rule or do we have any rule which will give the zero errors at least that is what actually we need to cross check so in this case if you uh, closely look this particular uh, rules at least there is one rule which is giving the zero errors out of uh, four examples here now the reason meaning of this one is whenever we get uh, overcast outlook is equal to overcast we will get the result directly because there are no errors directly the answer is yes in that case that is whenever uh, the example contains outlook is equal to overcast there are zero errors means the answer is yes directly so at least we are getting one answer here because of that what we do is we will select outlook we don't select humidity here because we don't have any rule in humidity which will give you the answer uh, in the first step only okay so that's the reason what we do is we will select outlook in this case now once you select outlook as a root node uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to create the part of that particular tree with the sunny overcast and uh, rainy as the branches and then we need to start proceeding uh, of uh, drawing the tree over here now it will look something like this outlook will be the root node sunny is the one branch overcast is the another branch and rainy will be the third branch here as I said earlier Whenever outlook is equal to overcast, there are zero errors are there because of that this will be the answer in this case. So that is the answer I have written here that is yes. But whenever outlook is equal to sunny, there are some errors are there. So we cannot say whether it is yes or no. Whenever outlook is equal to rainy, again we have errors. So we cannot say whether it is yes or no here. So what we do here is uh, whenever outlook is equal to sunny, we write the part of this particular data that is you can see here whenever outlook is equal to sunny hot high false no hot high false no that is the first thing when the second case is hot high true no that is what I have written here hot high true no similarly we need to write all possible cases where outlook is equal to sunny and how many attributes are remaining temperature humidity and windy only three things are remaining here similarly in this table whenever wherever you can say outlook is equal to rainy we need to consider those uh, we can say that the subset of data that is uh, outlook is equal to rainy you can see here mild high false yes that is uh, what I have written in the first case mild high false yes here similarly we need to consider all the rainy examples we have five rainy examples that will come here now what we need to do is we need to consider this subset of data and then we need to select one attribute among these three as the node here and then we need to build the tree Similarly, this side, uh, we need to select one among these three attributes and then we need to start building the tree here. Now, I will show for this particular side first and then we will go with this one. Now, this side, uh, what we have is, so we have three attributes and uh, five possible cases are there. Uh, for the first one, the temperature, uh, we will try to write the rules directly here because uh, the data set is very small here. Now, a temperature has three possibilities, hot, mild and cool. Uh, now how many number of times hot is appearing two times it is appearing what is the target value or what is the possible target here no so two times it is appearing and uh, both the times the no is present so what should be the rule here the rule should be hot is equal to no and there are no yes examples are there the meaning is uh, zero uh, errors will be the case in this case similarly for mild how many times mild is present two times but in this case 
if uh, how many uh, out of these two how many are yes and how many no we need to count so mild one time it is no second time it is yes here so if i write mild is equal to no this will be classified incorrectly if i write mild is equal to yes this will be classified incorrectly so either i can write no here or i can write yes here but if i write any of these two one will be classified incorrectly here for cool there is only one example and it is of type yes if i write cool is equal to yes there will be no incorrect classification that is 0 out of 1 so total number of uh, or the total error is 1 by 5 here now coming back to humidity humidity has three uh, two possibilities high and normal so high is appearing three times and all three are no here the meaning is what if i write high is equal to no all will be classified correctly no errors in this case that is 0 out of 3 second one is normal both are yes if i write uh, humidity is equal to normal or uh, uh, you can say that uh, uh, normal is equal to yes you can say normal is equal to yes both will be classified correctly uh, zero errors in this case so that is what i have written here coming back to windy we have two possibility again one is uh, false appearing three times but out of three one and two are no and this is yes here so if i write the uh, false is equal to no two correct classification one incorrect classification if I write false is equal to yes, one correct classification and these two will be incorrect classification. So false is equal to no is the best option and there will be only one incorrect classification. The remaining possibility is true. One is true, one is no and one is yes here. So either I can write yes or I can write no here. If I write any of these two rule, I will get uh, one error in this case. So the total error is 2 by 5, 0 by 5 here and 1 by 5 here. Now, if you look at these particular three attributes, I think uh, humidity is giving a uh, zero error or the least error here. I should select the humidity as the uh, node in this case. So, out of these three, uh, the humidity is giving uh, the least error here. If in, if there is a tie, what I supposed to do? I need to go back and then you need to check the individual error. But in this case, with there is no tie, I can start with humidity here. Now, uh, coming back to the next one, that's the right side uh, subtree. Here again, we need to find uh, which attribute should be selected here. Uh, so we will start with temperature again. Temperature has uh, three, two possibilities, mild and cool here. Mild has, you can say that uh, first one is yes, second one is yes, third one is no. So mild is equal to yes is a better option here. And uh, there will be one incorrect classification, that is this one. Uh, the cool, one is yes and one is no. If I write yes or if I write no, one will be classified incorrectly. So the total error is 2 by 5 in this case. Now we will start with the humidity. Humidity has two possibilities. One is high and one is normal. In the first case, high has yes. Second case, no. If I write high as no or yes, if I write anything, there will be one error. For normal, uh, one is yes. Second one is no. Third one is yes. So there are uh, three, two yes are there and one no is there. So the best option is to write normal is equal to yes where we will get one error that is this one is the only error we get here now coming back to the next one uh, okay first we need to count uh, the total error here 1 plus 1 2 out of uh, 5 here actually it should be 2 out of uh, 5 here 2 out of 5 now coming back to the windy so windy has uh, again two possibilities false and uh, true here uh, three false are there all three are yes i think you can notice here because all three are yes we can write the false is equal to yes and we get zero errors here and uh, true uh, here it's no here it's also it is no true is equal to no is the best option here i will get zero errors in this case zero plus zero is zero divided by three that is uh, zero out of uh, five errors and this is the least error in this case also because this is the least error we will select windy as the uh, node for the right side okay now uh, we need to uh, draw this uh, final tree first i'll talk about humidity because humidity we need to select here i think we have selected humidity now humidity has uh, two possibilities one is high and one is normal whenever humidity is high because we have zero errors here the answer is no and whenever we select humidity as normal here because the error is zero the answer is yes here so high no normal yes here i think we have drawn that particular thing whenever humidity is high no whenever humidity is normal it is yes here now coming back to wind or windy uh, whenever wind is equal to false zero errors are there the meaning is yes is the answer 
and uh, whenever wind is equal to true there are zero errors the answer is no here so false yes true no here whenever uh, wind is equal to false the answer is yes whenever the wind is true the answer is no here so this is how actually you can build the decision tree uh, using uh, what we can say that CART algorithm in this case now we have been given one condition we need to predict the class label for that particular uh, condition so the condition given to us is uh, outlook is sunny temperature is hot humidity is normal wind is equal to true so what we do is we will start with a root node the root node is outlook so what is the value of outlook given to us sunny so the meaning is we will go to this particular side now outlook is sunny that's fine next attribute is what here that's a humidity what is the value given to us normal so here is the normal so we will go to this particular side uh, we will get this as the answer here so what is the answer for this particular condition uh, question uh, the s yes is the answer so we need to ask only two questions here one is what is outlook and what is humidity here that's it once you answer this question you will get the answer over here rather than looking for remaining uh, temp and uh, uh, windy in this case I hope you understood how can we find or predict the class label for the new condition in this case. So in this case, uh, first we built the decision tree, uh, optimal decision tree you can say with the help of uh, CRT algorithm and then uh, we were able to predict the class label for the new example also. I hope the concept is clear. If you have any other questions, uh, you can ask those questions in the comment box. I will try to answer those questions at the earliest. If you like this video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.